Zone zero is the last frontier, and and I don't underestimate zone zero. As you know, I just had a case with a, a complication, and I had, I think, uh, three of the major four possible disasters that can happen in zone zero. I had it happen to me at some point. Wire perforation of a ventricle, that can happen. We have to be very careful. Retrograde type A. We are all worried about that. Injury of the aortic valve, that's the latest one that I had. And I haven't had yet coverage of the coronary arteries, but I know others that did. So we have to be careful with that as well. So don't underestimate, it is the last frontier. It's going to happen. I mean, at some point, we will be doing endovascular bento procedures. Uh, but but it is, uh, it is an area of still of a lot of work. The major challenge is going to be really stenting of the coronary arteries. Uh, they are very small vessels prone to spasm. Uh, typically, we have to work with 0.014 or 0.018 systems. We are just not there yet in the stent graft technology. So I, I anticipate a lot of challenge. The, the other challenge, and this uh, has happened to me, Roger, on a patient that I did a zone zero arch and that required an aortic valve, is that these valves are designed for stenotic valves, not uh, normal valves or valves with insufficiency. So the fixation of this device is going to be an issue, you know, and, and uh, tech technology, again, is not there yet, but we'll have to focus on creating a device that's not going to migrate. I think that for Zone Zero, you should have a multidisciplinary team that involves cardiac surgeon and actually to some extent interventional cardiology. Because as we, as we know, things are going to move towards the aortic valve, towards the coronaries. And, and as I said before, Roger, unfortunately, some of these cases have complications where the expertise is not in the vascular surgeon. It's much more knowledge in the room if you have all these, these guys involved. So I'm all for multi-specialty, uh, particularly when it gets to, to uh, zone zero procedures. I mean, is there a place for an aortic only meeting? I think the answer is absolutely yes, Roger. And uh, and I'll tell you why. And also why I think that the Charing Cross Vienna is going to be a success. It has all the ingredients for that. First, it has a great uh, a group of people putting together this program with what are the most pertinent questions to be answered in the aortic field. The selection of the speakers is key, as you know, as well as the moderators to bring up, uh, you know, what are the relevant questions and highlight aspects of uh, each uh, one's uh, uh, talks. Uh, and, you know, people are getting more and more dedicated to aorta. So this is becoming a more complex topic. And to address everything from the valve all the way to the helix, it does take dedicated time. We also talked about multiple specialties. You know, it's not only vascular surgery. We have cardiac surgery. We have interventional cardiology, radiology. Uh, and there's an opportunity in a more concise meeting to get all this group together talking about aortic disease.